Boa tarde. É, eu queria fazer essa introdução em português, mas o painel vai ser em inglês, então me desculpem. É, good afternoon, everyone. My name is João Vogel, and I study sociology, economics, and French here at Harvard. I'm currently on my last semester of college, and I will be graduating, hopefully, in May. I was granted with the honor and great responsibility of introducing the next speakers. I'm particularly emotional about this moment because this is the 10th student conference I help organize, and there are no other two distinguished speakers I would rather introduce on the closing of my last student conference and upon leaving Harvard, sorry. Both of them are the best at what they do. Both of them are personal role models of mine, but for very different reasons that I will explain. My past four years at Harvard were shaped by a constant dilemma of defining priorities. On one hand, it would be irresponsible for someone who studies here not to take as much advantage as possible of the wealth of academic resources available. On the other hand, by meeting the brilliant people you get to meet here, it is unlikely that you won't consider working with them outside of the classroom, oops, <laughs> through extracurricular activities and entrepreneurial opportunities. My biggest challenge was taking advantage of different entrepreneurial opportunities while not missing the academic opportunities at Harvard. It is only natural that those who are finishing college experience, those who are finished college experience anxiety about the next first step of their careers. But when doing so, we ask ourselves, who do I want to become? Here, I discovered that I'm passionate about entrepreneurship, being the organization of student conferences like this as one example. But through academic exploration, I have also discovered that I'm passionate about conducting research in sociology. What should I do next? Should I become a researcher? Should I become an entrepreneur? Who do I want to be when I grow up? The next George Paul Lemon? Or the next Jim Collins? I don't think I'll find an answer to these questions anytime soon. But what I do know is that George Paul Emma and Jim Collins inspire me to be the best in whichever path I choose to pursue. Jim Collins is a student, a student and teacher of leadership and what makes great companies tick. Having invented, invested a quarter century of research into the topic, he has authored or co-authored six books that have sold in total more than 10 million copies worldwide. They include Good to Great, Good to Great in the Social Sectors, Built to Last, How the Mighty Fall, and most recently, Great by Choice. Driven by his curiosity, Jim began his research and teaching career on the faculty at Stanford Graduate School of Business, where he received a Distinguished Teaching Award in 1992. In 1995, he founded a management laboratory in Boulder, Colorado, where he conducts research and engages in Socratic dialogue with CEOs and senior leadership teams. In addition to his work in the business sector, Jim has passion for learning and teaching in the social sectors as well. In 2012 and 13, he had the honor to serve a two-year appointment as a class of 1951 chair for the study of leadership at the United States Military Academy at West Point. Jim holds a bachelor degree in mathematical sciences and an MBA from Stanford University, and honorary doctoral degrees from the University of Colorado and the Peter F. Drucker Graduate School of Management at Claremont, Claremont Graduate University. He's also an avid rock climber with one day ascents of the north face of Half Dome and the 3,000 foot south face of El Capitan in Yosemite Valley. George Paul Lemon graduated from Harvard with a bachelor's degree in economics in 1961 and was a renowned tennis player at the university, having also represented Brazil and Switzerland in international championships such as the Davis Cup and Wimbledon. In 1971, he acquired the brokerage firm Garantia, which became a bank in 1976. In 1989, he diversified his business effort and bought the Brazilian brewery Brahma, which, through numerous mergers and acquisitions that I'm not going to go into, uh, including the ongoing acquisition of SAB Miller, one of the largest acquisitions in corporate history, has dominated the world and is internationally known as Anheuser-Busch InBev. Not satisfied, 
He founded GP Investments in 1993 and 3G Capital in 2004, which have acquired companies in the food sector, in retail, in commerce, e-commerce, and in logistics, such as Burger King in 2010, Heinz in 2013, and Kraft Foods in 2015. As an expression of his commitment with impact in Brazil in the long term, he also co-founded Fundação Estudar and Fundação Lemon. Without further ado, I would like to invite Jim Collins and Jorge Paulo Lemon to the stage.